Hey guys, welcome back. It's uh, been a few days since I've been able to create a video, and I wanted to get this one out today. And this one, we're going to go ahead and finish up our body content, get our uh, other two set up. And all we're going to do is pretty much copy and paste this, because we have this kind of where we want it. And then we'll start on our sidebar. So let's jump right into it. Open these up in Notepad. And what we're going to do is add a, a couple more sentences to our description here just to fill it out a little bit better. So I'm just going to take this one and paste it in there. Control S, see how that looks. It looks too repetitive. So we're just going to take this one, put it right here. There we go. And now we're going to copy this whole uh, the whole div here. Show copy, and we're going to replace these other divs just like that. Control S, browser, refresh, and there we go. Now, since we have a specific height defined for the content background here, you can tell that this is coming out of the container. And to do to fix that, all we have to do is remove the height from the uh, section. All right, 300 pixels. We'll just get rid of that. Control S, browser, refresh, and there we go. Now we can uh, also link these images to the same place our posts would be going to, and to do that, all you have to do is wrap the image in an anchor tag. Like if I was just, I just take this anchor tag here, paste it in, and then close the anchor tag off. And now that image will have a uh, link, it will link somewhere too. So that's how you link images. You can do it to your uh, main logo. So when you click on that, it takes you to your home page. That's a pretty general use for that. And what we could do is see if I wanted to add a little bit more of a margin between the two rows or the three rows, I could just say margin top 20 pixels. Control S, browser, refresh, and there we go. And adds a little bit more space between them there. And everything's lined up the way it should be. And that looks pretty good. What we can do now is come over to the side, to our sidebar, and we're going to set it up. Now what we want is for the aside, for the sidebar, to kind of match the style with this background and the border. So we're going to do that. Let's go to the style.css, and we're going to find our section, and we're going to take these uh, three styles right here. Control copy, come down to our side, and control paste. Control paste. <laughs> control V, sorry. Control S, browser, F5 to refresh, and there we go. And now it has a, uh, let's see, one pixel border, so it's two pixels wider, so we know what we have to do with that. And it'll take the width down two pixels. F5 to refresh, there we go. That looks pretty good. Really quickly, we want to uh, create the image, the dummy image for our sidebar. And that's just going to be the thumbnail type image for the postings or listings or whatever it's going to be within our sidebar. So we're going to make the image the width of the container. And in our case, it's 278 pixels. But what's happening is we have 15 pixels uh, cushion each side. So it's uh, 30 pixels wider. But that doesn't have an effect on the actual inside width because it, with the padding, it doesn't remove any space, it adds space. So we're just going to make it 278 pixels and that'll fit nicely within the container. We're going to come into Photoshop, hit uh, Control N, 
make a new document and we're going to make it 278 pixels by 180 pixels or 180, 100 pixels and hit OK. Let's go to our gradient tool go to our layers palette, make a new layer and it's going to drag this uh, gradient out get a little radial gradient, come to our text tool I'm going to say like sidebar and make it uh, white and then we're going to select this layer and select the background layer and go layer, align, vertical centers and uh, layer, align, horizontal centers and that just puts our uh, layer here within the center of this layer it works pretty well now we're going to hit control S to save come to the desktop we're going to save it as a JPEG file Save, and we're just going to do like a quality of 10. It's not going to be a uh, live image or anything, it's just for, uh, it's just a dummy image. I should have named it something though. Let's just name it uh, Dummy Assigned. Come to our website folder, and we're going to drag the image into our images folder. And now let's go to our index.html page, and inside of our side, we're going to bring in the image. So it's image, and the source is images slash dummy side dot jpg. And we're going to add our alternative text. Just dummy side, control S, browser, and there we go. It looks pretty good. And now under that, we're going to have our description of the post, article, video, whatever it is. I'm going to enter down there. Oops. Enter down. And below that, we're going to add an anchor tag. And this is going to be the title of whatever post we're linking to. Same way we did right here. So we can just take this. Control copy. Ah, control copy. I keep saying that. It's control C, which is the... Uh, shortcut for copying, and control V, shortcut for pasting, and control S, shortcut for saving, browser, F5 to refresh, and there we go. Now we want to use these same title styles as we used over here. So what we could do is, we could actually, since we're using this more than uh, we I expected to in within the website, what we could do is turn our link styles for our, our titles on our pages or for our uh, link styles on our main page that link to our articles and things we could turn that into an actual class in itself and then we could just uh, use that class for everything there's a train outside so we could use that class and apply that class to every uh, title every anchor tag that would use the same styles if that makes any sense. So in this case we have index post and anchor. And that's the styles we want to use. How could we use that in our aside? So what I could do is compile this into a class. I could say uh, title links. I come over here and uh, give that a class period. Define the styles within that as the styles right here. Control S. And if I come in here and I give this anchor tag the class of title links, is that what I call that? I can't remember now. Title links, yes. Control S, browser, if I'd refresh, there we go. Now what I want to do is on the aside We'll start a class, not a class, we'll start a style for the image of the assigned. But I want to have some margin on the bottom of the image of like 15 pixels. Of uh, not 15 pixels, of uh, 10 pixels. There we go. And then below that we can have our description. So below this, we'll add a paragraph tag, not required but uh, it will resemble a paragraph and we can use the default styles from the paragraph for this. So in here we're going to just take 
this pretty much and paste it in there. And there we go. It's a little too much for our sidebar. I'm just going to trim that in half. There we go. Control S. Refresh. And this may not work for your website at all. This may just look terrible for what you're wanting to do, but this is just showing you ways you can do things. Like I wouldn't use this, I don't believe. This is not something I would use on a project of mine, because I don't I don't find a practical use for this type of layout. There's definitely uh, websites that could use a layout like this, and you are now capable of creating a layout that resembles this. I'm gonna come on the image. Add a margin to the top as well. I believe it was 15 pixels. Yeah, on the other one. Margin on the top. <laughs> Browser. If I refresh. And there we go. Now that's doing is keeping it in line with these. And what we'll do is we'll come in and remove the height for the side. Control S. And then come over here. 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 And take this and control C, enter down, and some space there, and control V. Control S, browser, refresh. And there we go. That's looking pretty good. If we wanted, we could uh, move the title to above the image. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's completely up to you. You know how to do that now, and that's the whole point of this series, is to teach you how to do things that would be useful for your own projects. I don't want you to cut and paste anything I'm doing. That, that defeats the purpose of learning it. So now you know how to do this stuff, and you can take it and use it and make your own stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching the sixth part now, I believe. I do believe this is the sixth part in this tutorial series, and uh, we've got some work done this time. I tried to pick up the pace a little bit in this tutorial, and we got the sidebar done, and we got the body content finished. I know that took a couple parts, but it looks pretty good. And the next time we are going to, I'm sure this thing is going to touch up, make things a little bit better here and there, but in the next part we're definitely going to try and start on the footer and get that finished. And in the part after that, uh, if we finish the footer and touched up everything we need to touch up, we're going to take this and we're going to duplicate it a few times and make a couple dummy pages for our about and contact. And whatever else we need. We might go over how to make forms. I might make that into a different series on how to uh, set up forms. Because that's, I mean, you could take that as far as you want to. Like, we could go into setting it up and then we can go into writing PHP, making it uh, communicate with a database. Things like that. I don't really know what you're looking for, uh, but I, I do believe I want to do that because that's an exciting uh, part because you're, you're programming things. You're not just writing markup language. It's just a lot more involved, and the results are pretty, pretty awesome. So yeah, uh, subscribe for the next part, and I'll try not to have as much of a gap between the parts as I've, I've been having. It's just it's been a little hectic recently. But uh, thanks for watching.